Hi, I'm Adam McDonald. Today I'm going to show you the two box chrono. If you've read my blog, you know I was absolutely hooked by the science of load development. The more testing I did, and the more I learned about statistics, the more I realized that the chronograph is a real limiting factor. Random error is a hidden variable that can easily send you in the wrong direction when you're trying to work up a long range load. So I decided to build a chronograph from scratch. I needed a measuring device that was more repeatable than the ammo I was trying to measure. I needed it to just work all the time and give me data I could rely on. First, I needed a new type of sensor. Bullets are small, fast, and hard to see. However, every supersonic bullet produces a very loud shockwave. Microphones can hear that reliably in any weather condition. I spread the sensors apart by 15 feet. This increases the total time span and reduces random error to within one foot per second. Now, with two boxes and a long cable, it needs to be easy to set up. The front box is placed a few feet in front of the rifle, right on the ground, or you can raise it up on a tripod or a wooden board or anything else you prefer. To set the second box at the correct distance, put some tension on the cable and align the last two yellow marks. This ensures the sensor spacing is exactly 15 feet. Use the magnetic sights to aim the boxes just below the target. In this case, they are aimed slightly too low. That might be perfectly fine, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If your goal is to measure the consistency of your ammo, there's no need for perfect alignment. Just shoot. All the numbers might be a little high or a little low, but that's okay, because they're all shifted by the same amount, and the variation, standard deviation, extreme spread will all be correct. However, if you need to know the true average velocity, then you should align the boxes more carefully. If the sensors are 8 inches below the bullet path, then aim the boxes 8 inches below the target. This will ensure they are parallel with the barrel. The rechargeable battery lasts for 60 hours and can charge from any USB port. If you get all the way to the range and your battery is dead, plug it in your car for 15 minutes and it should be enough power for the day. Improving your elevation at long range is all about tweaking your reloading process and finding out what works best in your rifle. Now that I can trust the chrono to not randomly throw off or miss shots, I do all my testing at 100 yards because group size and velocity is all I need to be confident in how a load will work at long range. If you'd like to improve your long range performance, you need to be able to measure an improvement. The Two Box Chrono gives you data that will lead you in the right direction. You can find out more at twoboxchrono.com.